Peter was set free. That confirms the popular saying that whatever has a beginning must surely also have an end. God can terminate whatever has appeared seemingly unassailable in our lives. Herod in that passage represents satanic forces unleashed against the church and all believers. He roared, he backed, he harassed, but the mighty one in battle outclassed them all. You too will overcome because you have been sheltered to sit in the presence of the Most High. You will remain safe in the protective shadows of the Almighty God. Bow your heads and let us pray because the Lord is our refuge. We and the entire household of God's people shall be kept safe from the hidden traps of the wicked, shielded, rescued and made perfectly safe from all deadly hazards. I do not know what your situation is. I don't know who is persecuting you. I do not know where you are facing fire at the moment. The Lord is saying, enough is enough. Now is your moment of victory. Now is your moment of breakthrough. The Lord shall set you free. And when the Lord sets you free, you are free indeed. I declare to you, every obstacles on your way, every tormentor, every persecutor that had made life so difficult for you, you will see them no more. The huge outstretched arms of our Jehovah God shall protect you and fend off your entire household from all harm. The huge outstretched arms of the Jehovah God will continue to protect you and fend off your entire household from all harm. In the name of Jesus, I command you, fear nothing. Fear not the wild wolves of the night. Neither shall you tremble because of the many flying arrows of the day and terrible disasters that sporadically erupt at high points of the afternoon. Nor be shaken by the pandemic diseases that prowl around menacingly through the darkness. Even in vulnerable situations, by his leading, you will not cave in or succumb. In fact, no harm will even grace you. You will stand untouched, watch it all from a distance and watch your adversaries turn into corpses. Yes, because the mighty warrior God is your refuge. The most high God is your victorious quencher. He will neither permit nor allow any devices of the devil to wreak any havocs near your home. No evil shall get close to you, nor any harm get through your doors to afflict. He shall order his angels concerning you, indeed for the sake of your entire family, to guard you wherever you go and keep you from falling, even when you accidentally stumble. You will walk unharmed among lions and snakes. By his mighty power, you will triumphantly trample even upon dangerous serpents and scorpions and walk over them along your paths. Assuredly, I say to you, by the unfailing word of promise, that if you can continue to abide and hold on to the Lord for their lives, says the Lord, I will get you out of any trouble and crush any pestilence that may come your way, says the Lord. Instead, he will lavish on you unrestrictedly the very best of care, provided you continue to acknowledge and trust in him. I assure you, as God's oracle, as, as he has sworn by his name, he will answer you from heaven. Before you call, he will answer. While you are still calling, your petitions will be performed. He will deliver and preserve you and all that are yours. And above all, grant you the exceedingly great joy of his salvation. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As you look up to God for a new deal, in this new week, every trace of shame and reproach will disappear from your life. In Jesus' name. In the new week, God shall lead you to where your blessings are located. In the name of Jesus. He shall bless you with prosperity, success, glory, healing, and uncommon miracles. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen.